Hello everyone and welcome back to part number 8. In previous part I said we might get the iron mine done but I've changed my mind because I'm trying to avoid repetitive content as much as possible. So therefore in this part you will see how the steel mill um, is taking shape. On the other hand you might wonder um, why is it taking so long to upload the video? Well, to keep it simple, I am in the process of relocating back to Romania and to be honest, you wouldn't believe how many things are still to be done. So, every time I got uh, the chance, I am working on providing you guys with not much but a bit of content for you to uh, enjoy so this is the main station it's gonna have eight platforms four of them are gonna get used for the coal trains and the other four um, are for the finished product which is steel the iron ore, however, is going to be delivered by ships into this dock. This is going to be a dock in the future. Um, just, just to add some variety, I mean, we, we're using train for pretty much everything. I think it was a good chance to, uh, to use the ships as well. I know we're using them for fuel, but uh, there's still a long way to go before this project is going to be finished. So. Um, whenever I get the chance, I'll try to mix it up with trucks, ships. I'm not too sure about planes, but we'll probably use some planes for um, remote areas. I was going to do a train ride at the beginning of this part but I think it will be a good idea if part number 10 will cover all the completed areas and uh, I'll, I'll try to do some train rides in the, in the nicest areas um, so we'll probably have part number 9 which is going to be uh, the iron ore and then we'll have a look to see what we have achieved so far with, uh, with some nice train rides. I mean, I had a look when this part was finished and uh, it, it looks impressive, I must say. And it looks really good coming uh, onto the train into the actual industrial area. Please do let me know in the comments uh, what, what's your opinion about about part number 10. So this is pure time-lapse building. There's no fancy cinematics or anything like that. It's just because I didn't have the time to, uh, to actually do it. I am very pleased with how these uh, two bridges turned out. I know you can only see one, but I can predict the future. And I can tell you there's going to be another bridge in here.
So let's just say, for the sake of argument, we will uh, we will have to pretend that the, these bridges again. I will I will use my powers to predict the future. And um, they were built with the steel from the factories that I'm currently building. And trust me, there will be three mighty bridges in here. So there's the second bridge, road bridge, should I say? Um, there's a reason why I'm I'm placing the road and then delete them. Most of the times, the the road tends to sink from the middle and create a really annoying dip in the in the in the terrain, and you end up with uh, with a really annoying bump and the on the road so that's why I'm stretching it and then I take it back uh, to the point that I know is flat and create the connection moving on to the sidings and the things that are gonna fill this area and to be honest with you um, it will make it look more realistic and alive.
so here we are we're, we're placing our first well it's not that's our only coal uh, pile and on the other side of the dock we're gonna place the uh, iron ore pile and again all these small details put together will eventually form uh, an impressive industrial sector. I had to fiddle quite a lot with this screen and um, making sure that it doesn't collide with something for example trains or tracks so um, you know make it look realistic um, I've also placed on the left hand side you'll see me placing some blocks just to um, make sure it's on the same level and obviously it's not just floating in the air and on those uh, on those blocks, I've added a couple of metal beams, so I, I make it look like it's the, the crane that's on the tracks.
Now this is something that I really liked how it turned out. It's supposed to be the main hall where um, where all the steel is manufactured into different things. For example, uh, cable, uh, wire, pipes, steel beams, and everything that's connected with steel. Um, I think adding adding all of this was the selling point that this is. Um, an industrial area so it really makes it look like uh, like a proper factory and th th this is where where I'm gonna repeat myself and in, uh, in connection with the train rides w when you actually do a, a cab ride uh, this is the first thing that you'll see this and the cranes from from the train station and it really gives you that feeling that you're entering a, a factory area or a or an industrial area.
I've said it a few times so far and uh, I'm gonna repeat myself but I thank all these uh, small details um, are making all the difference it brings uh, it brings everything to life and it makes it feel so much more realistic I mean for example you get the whole complex and if you get a, a bird eye view on it it doesn't look um, it doesn't look you know realistic it looks like it's painted but adding all these uh, small bushes like small scattered uh, logs or wooden things you know it, it just adds up and uh, and it makes makes it look more alive
As always, all the good things come to an end. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and uh, consider subscribing if you haven't done it yet. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.